Tunnel Infiltration by Dr. Jan Kleis, MD. First, the carpal tunnel is drawn on the patient's skin. The proximal border is the line joining the pisiform bone, medially, and the scaphoid bone, laterally. The distal border is the line between the hook of hamate, medially, and trapezium, laterally. We locate the palmaris longus tendon. The needle is inserted almost horizontally, 2 cm proximal to the upper border of the carpal tunnel and medially to the palmaris longus tendon. Its entire length glides distally under the transverse ligament without piercing the median nerve nor the tendons. The injection is given slowly while withdrawing the needle. Normally no resistance nor discomfort are felt during the injection. It is a diagnostic as well as therapeutic procedure.